It's time for a fish pond guide with tips on which fish make the most money, how to change the color of your ponds, and a boatload of awful fish puns. Here's your host with the atrocious sense of humor, Steve the Sturgeon. Hi everyone, I'm Steve the Sturgeon. I'm gonna tell you how to get fantastic new Stardew Valley content using my eggs. But first, let's talk about what fish ponds are and how to scale up your net income. Fish ponds are a new five by five building added in patch 1.4 that allows you to multiply fish and harvest our eggs. You can put most fish into a fish pond as well as some beach foraging like sea urchins and coral. There are some fish you can't put in a pond and one fish, the tiger trout, that cannot reproduce in a pond. In other words, these fish would just flounder in a pond. Fish ponds allow you to harvest newborn fish with your fishing rod, as well as collect row and random items from the chum bucket. Harvested fish will always be of regular quality, so don't start carping when you don't harvest a gold star fish. You whaley want to add a side to your ponds too. It'll show you how many fish are in your pond, so you don't need the smarts of a brain sturgeon to keep track. Now, once in a while, us fish need something to make us eel more at home. If you see an exclamation point floating above our pond, that means you got work to do. You're on the hook now to bring us some special items. But once you do, we'll have the space for even more fish in the pond. Yeehaw! <laughs> <clears throat> now, I'm not gonna lie, one of the biggest benefits of adding a fish pond is to add a splash of color to your farm. You can pick up super cucumber for purple ponds, slime jacks for green ponds, or lava eel for red ponds. Now, if you're trying to make money, you're gonna either want a blobfish or a lava eel pond, and you're gonna want to age the roe produced by the fish. For most fish, you can put the roe in a preserves jar and double the value with an aged roe, hot damn. But if you really want something more sophisticated, you'll need caviar. Caviar can only come from sturgeons, like me, like me. And it is needed for a couple very cool things you can find here in Stardew Valley. I don't want to spoil it for you, but just know a new attraction has been added in the 1.4 Stardew Valley patch. And you will really need to save a caviar for it. Also, Willie, the fisherman, he really likes crabs. Like, kind of a strangely weird amount he likes crabs. So if you're fishing for gifts and compliments, raise some crabs. Even if Willie isn't your friend, I always say, keep your friends close and your anemones closer. Speaking of keeping your friends close, did you know your next BFF can be found at twitch.tv slash Dr. Drew? Boy, he's great. Dolphinately the best Twitch streamer I've ever seen. Fish can also produce special and rare items, depending on the fish. So I encourage you to check out the Stardew Valley Wiki if there's a particular shard you're missing. Fish ponds have some other uses too. I'd consider using your fish pond for some delicious helpful meals. Like seafoam pudding, lucky lunches. Just uh, please don't make sturgeon sashimi. It tastes really bad. Mostly like guilt, shame. Now, if you're a beginner looking for more Stardew Valley tips, I would check out Dr. Drew's beginner tips video. That way you don't work your bass off for no reason. It's only mildly verbally abusive. Only mildly calls you a loser once or twice or three times. If you've got your own fish and pond tips, leave them in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe for more great content. And one more tip for you seafaring sailors out there. If you want to make an octopus laugh, go ahead and give him 10 tickles. <laughs>